I have no idea what's going on with auction prices at the moment. They are just all over the place. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you join me today as we are off to Aston Barclay for another auction visit. Now I'm after some five door stuff today. Uh, could do with a couple of five doors. Had a quick look online, there's a few bits in today, 160 cars in today. So we need to get ourselves down there nice and early, get ourselves a catalogue, get ourselves a breakfast voucher, that's very important, uh, and have a look round and see what we can try and win. So we're gonna get the recovery truck fired up now and uh, get ourselves down there. But before we do that, just a quick message from today's product sponsor, who've got a fantastic offer for you guys so check this one out hi guys who wants some free new and exclusive beers yes you heard me right free beer well you're in luck with today's product sponsor beer 52 now sunny days are back and to celebrate my good friends at beer 52 are offering you guys a free case of delicious craft beers this time from yorkshire to get hold of one simply go to www beer52.com slash this car and cover just the £5.95 postage to receive your free case now. Their industry experts carefully create a new case every month showcasing the very best of craft beers and independent breweries from around the world. Now this month they are taking us to God's own country with their Yorkshire case. Boasting some of the finest breweries in the country, Yorkshire should be on every beer enthusiast bucket list. Now I've picked out this Timothy Taylor Tall Boy. It's one of the several beers in the case exclusive to Beer 52, meaning you won't find it anywhere else. Now this is a smooth, hoppy, pale ale, bursting with flavor. And be honest with you guys, I could drink this until the cows come home. Now you can also try something different in your case. You've also got the Magic Rocks Truly Unique Gin and Tonic IPA. While on the dark side, the Black Sheep Brewery have canned their famous Rid Welter Dark Ale to cast strength for the first time in 27 years. That's a nice strong one, guys, if you really like strong ales. Now in your case, you can also learn about all the beers and breweries and rich history and culture of brewing in Yorkshire with the award-winning Ferment magazine that is included in your Beer 52 pack. And if you don't like dark beer, don't worry, simply choose the light case and don't forget you get a couple of tasty snacks in your packs as well. So you can choose a dark ales, you can choose light ales, you also get your snacks as well. Eight beers in your case, delivered to your door for £5.95. Even after all that, if you're still unsatisfied, you can simply pause or cancel at any time. So that's www.beer52.com slash this car to claim your free case now. That's beer52.com forward slash this car. So get yourself on Bear 52 and give them a try. Right, let's get ourselves stuck in. Lot 43, a very, very, very bright 207. One four petrol gun, 79 foul. Good port on it, two former keepers. I like that. Oh, that's a uh, painting. That's not the end of the world. Again, the opposite side's the same. Just want to bother to put the caps on, just not flick hand them in. That's a nice old thing. Now that you book between, well, 11 below average, it's not below average. I'd say it's probably, it's a bit chippy in places, but it's not horrendous. Average to, clean, to semi clean. So that's what, probably 14, 1600 quid it's coming out at. Retail on that, oh, you, I think that's 28.95, 22.95 maybe. Colour will sell that. 11 plays as well, so it's quite a late one. Good mileage. Yeah, free grand car, I think. Not quite a focus, but mm, I'll be tempted at sort of the £1,500 mark on that. I think that could potentially be one for us to mark down. Not 12. Little 3500, it's 104,000 miles. No V5, so we've got to be careful. Otherwise, we're waiting six weeks for a lot book off the DVLA, and it is, let's say, a little bit battered. Looks the same colour as the one we've got back at the uh, workshop, actually, but mine is in far better condition than this. This is really rough. We need two wings at least. Paint at the bottom of the sill. Oh, it's just, oh, God, it's a rough car, this. It's going to have to be very cheap to convince me to buy this. And ideally, I don't really want to be buying too many small cars. I've got quite a lot of them backed up. But if it's cheap, it's a bit difficult to not put your hand up. And he's booking at grand 1200 quid mark, but 
I don't, just don't see that to be honest. That is a pretty poor shape. But if it's cheap, who knows? 73 Volkswagen Golf diesel on a 10 plate. Usually it would be quite an expensive car. Probably not on my radar if it had sensible mileage, but it ain't got sensible miles. It's got 200,000 miles on it. 201,000 miles. Two former keepers, it's been a busy bee. Although it has got a clean report on it, which is uh, amazing for a car with 200k on it. And it has got 200k on it, but it ain't that bad. It's a little bit chippy, but it ain't horrendous for a car that's on 200,000 miles. It's the 1.6 diesel, which is a shame, I prefer the 2 litre, uh, just because you just get a little bit less hassle with them. 1.6s can suffer with turbocharger faults and stuff. Mind you saying that the 2 litre has its issues as well, but... Um, hmm. I mean, it's booking out around the 600 quid mark. Sorry, a bit more than that, 800 quid below average on a template. Be interested to see if that was that sort of money. I might have a punt at that. Uh, but 200,000 miles, why me? You've got a limited market, sell that to. Somebody wants us to, who's desperate for a golf, diesel, wants a bit of plate on it, template, you never know. 74, a little Skoda Fabia. Um, might be cheap, 133,000 miles. Got an MOT on it for a few months. It's got a few markers on it, one engine operation and one vehicle operation. It's probably got an engine light on. I might have to listen to this as it goes for the auction. The 1.2, you have to be careful with these. They do suffer with um, valves that burn out. Very common on the 1.2 Volkswagen engines, polos and stuff they're fitted to. So we'll have to see that what that's like when it goes through the auction. Um, I mean, they are fixable, but you know, you, you have to be careful. You don't want to be spending too much money fixing an engine that's 130 fow on it. It's not worth masses of money, this. It's probably only realistically a 1500 quid car at best on a good day, maybe less. Scratch there as well, that's a bit of a shame. You have to be careful with Fabias as well, they do suffer with, oh blimey, uh, yeah they do suffer with subframes that uh, corrode prematurely, but uh, also they seem to suffer with uh, a man putting a lot of tape on his bumper, I mean that is horrendous, look at the state of that bump, that quarter there, oh wow, that's a, that's a bad one, um, yeah, I mean that's going to have to be chicken feed for me to buy this today, because I'm not really looking to buy anything too heavy like that, that uh, <laughs> is really badly damaged not maybe yet. don't think i'll be interested in that one we'll see what it does i know a honda jazz on an 04 have i learned my lesson clearly not but we've got no chance of buying this one it's done 56,000 miles although it has got a marker down for vehicle operation that's a worry it's an auto as well um cvt speed 7 good little auto box these as in when they run right but they can be temperamental not seen too many bad ones but uh, the odd one now and then does crop up. I suspect that will either still do decent mileage, even with, I don't know, 4 or 54 on it. Damage on the wing there. And obviously, as we know, guys, oh, blimey, the side's all gone as well. It's quite rough, actually. But as we know, these are also rock boxes, if you watched my last video. Um, so you have to be careful. I shan't be buying a Honda Jazz today. I've learned that lesson. Something a bit different. Um, how these have dropped a lot of the auctions recently, these big big Range Rovers, they come down massively. This is a 3 litre SDV6. Um, got a few warning lights on there, that's no surprise. It's a Land Rover Range Rover. It's gonna have warning lights on. I think they come with warning lights on from factory, I believe. Uh, 3 litre SDV6 done 120,000 miles. I mean, it's a nice old thing, they always are. A nice big Range Rover Sport. But this will empty your wallet. I am a buyer of these if they're sort of sensiblest money. This one's about four grand it's booking at. Um, I mean, I'm not really looking at something like this today, but it'll be interesting to see what it goes for, just to see how much they've come down, just to see if it really does hit that four grand uh, reserve. Um, nice thing. But they're just so unreliable. I mean, and the more newer they get, they seem to get even more unreliable. The wife's got one of these and I'm constantly fixing it and I wish she'd just go buy something sensible like an NL or something that never break down, but she doesn't. She insists on having this bloody Range Rover because she thinks she's a Cheshire housewife. Um, and it's just a pain in the arse to keep fixing. Drives nice though, but on the rare occasion it does drive nice. We'll see what that does anyway, it'll be interesting to see what they're doing because they've come down a lot. Got 41, a little Mini Cooper, 67,000 miles. 
nice old thing in the white or cream white on a 55 so I can't work out if this has got the old engine in it still or the newer engine so it's got the Prince engine in or the older Chrysler derived engine which I've forgotten its name I think it may have the old engine in still I don't know I'll be interested to see you can tell just by the sound of it but when it starts up but um, bumper's a little bit peppered on the back there but that could be fixable it's not booking at a lot of money even though it's only done six to seven thousand miles booking at six to nine hundred quid which for that low mileage on it, it's actually quite decent hmm interesting to see what that does has got a few markers on it so have to be careful make sure it's not got any engine warning lights on or anything like that but that could be one for a goer there's a blast from the past Fiat Punto in yellow is it a sporting it looks like a sporting it is 64,000 miles still then OT's locked over nice old car that car there let's put a bit of the bath logo on there the one two sixteen valves have the engine out the old Bravo in it I think there was six speed yeah six speed you have to be really careful with these though because they do rot uh, what a nice old thing that is. Little Focus 1.6 petrol ZTEC S model. Um, I'm after this one today, guys. Now, this usually probably will be on my radar. It's done about 97,000 miles, which is not a bit high ish, but it's not terrible. But being a ZTEC S, it's quite a sought after car. However, it has got an issue with it. Um, as we can uh, have a look around, it looks pretty decent all around here. Nice and clean until we get to the back of it. We've had a bit of all of a shunt there. Tailgate is completely gone, that's had it. That needs repair replacing. Also, it's hit the quarter as well, damaged it. Now, I have done a bit of research on this. I found a couple of quarters online, some ZTEC S ones. Pick them up for about 80 quid in colour. Moon dust silver, dead common. And then just get this quarter painted. A little bit of a swage line there to work with to repair, but I've got a man for the job, he'll sort that out. Um, but that could be cheap because that could put people off we've also got a little bit of damage as well down the bottom here on the wing but that could be fixed that's not too bad now that probably be worth retail about three grand 3200 quid with that sort of mileage on but buying wise it's going to be around a two grand mark clean but it's not clean so if that's anywhere under 1500 quid we're going to buy that because um, not much money will put that right and then we'll have a nice car and that's what I'm after at the moment I need to want some focuses and some asterisks really I need some, some medium sized tackle because I keep getting asked for them we'll uh, want to watch lovely day today, sun's out it's just a really nice day perfect day for buying cars from an auction although I shouldn't really be buying many cars what have we got here? 163 11 plate, I go Done 108,000 miles, one owner from you. Got a mark on the uh, port there for engine, so it might have a warning light on. And to be honest with you, it'd have to be pretty bad for me to, for this to be uh, knackered, because I've never seen one with a blown, blown engine or any problems with them. Uh, I have noticed it's got horrendous paint repair. We've got a bit of water on it, a bit of dealer's mess covering it. I'm not quite sure we can pick it up. You probably can't, but showing proper there but it, it basically I can see all the runs in the paint here it's just not a nice job um, done the whole door it's orange peely it's gone into the quarter as well you could probably could improve that a little bit sort of flatten it and maybe polishing it would hide it but you know obviously you've got runs there so you could probably improve it but it's not great if I'm honest and it's just it's 108,000 miles and it's got poor paint and it's, I know it's 11 plate, but it's still booking quite strong. I mean, it's booking at 1,350 quid, bottom book, below average. Oh, it's had paint here as well. It's, it's just it's just been repaired poorly everywhere. I bet that bumper's not original either. It's probably been repainted. Badge is missing. No, it's just an horrible thing. That'd have to be pff, way below a grand for me to get involved in that. Um, I mean, it's probably a two and a half grand I go, but yeah, you're going to be 
spending a lot of money painting that up and red to paint as well to match up and colour wise as well it's never seems to blend right every time i've had red cars painted you just like i can just tell here it's not going to show up on the camera but this door and that quarter there just stand out completely um, and the bumper on the back then's faded as well it's just they're difficult things to get the paint right on a red car but lovely when they are right they just shine up well that was overspray here it's just, oh, it's just a mess no, that's going to have to be very cheap to convince me, that one. It's a shame, though, because it's a five-door I go and they'll sell. An old Citroen Picasso. 1.6 petrol. But he's done 64,000 miles. All green on the report. Off the car buying group, they're like a We Buy Any Car type place they put in. One former keeper. That looks like a proper retailable car, that. 64,000 on it. It looks pretty straight. Now, people moan about French cars. I've just actually noticed some damage, actually, before I just talk about that. That wants a bit of repair going on there, but it is repairable. If it's cheap because of that, I might have a car here, because that is a nice thing. I like the old Picassos. I mean, you have to be careful with, some, with them. They do suffer a rot on the sills. Easily repairable, like. But, um, yeah, they are prone for it, even at low mileage. Oh, we've got a screw up on the door bottom there as well. That'll be painting. So you've got a fair old few, few hundred quid worth of paint there at least to sort out. But it's only booking it. 400 to 650 quid. It's below average. Lots of light as well. A bit of tape on there. For that sort of money, 400 quid mark. A few hundred quid paint it, get it right again. Don't really give much problems other than that, to be honest. And they drove really nice, they're a decent car, and they had a good old run as well. They went from like 2001 up to 2010. These things. And I just like them just drive all right and they sell well still Mondeo about 100 2 litre diesel done 102,000 miles but we are category N Cat D as you'd call it uh, MOT very short as well but a good report on it so it's uh, the AA man's uh, thinks it's half decent lights missed it up bumper's been repainted very poorly bonnets had a little bit of paint as well and too much uh, sandpaper on it it's all a bit uh, poor the repair oh my word look at this here flip can job not been done properly at all I mean I should use a flip can anyway for that sort of big area but oh it's all up the side wing <laughs> both doors the whole side has been painted oh it gets worse the back's been painted as well oh it's not good it's had a whole half the cars had a hit of paint on it. It's a shame, isn't it? Because if it's one of those cars, you just know it's going to drive right, but the paintwork lets it down. I tell you what, that would be good for 100 foul on it if it drives all right. What a cracking mini cab that would make. Because you think about it, just put some stickers over it, vinyl it up half the car. You don't care, don't matter about the paint. Put some vinyl stickers on it, drive it higher, job done. I don't know what that's going to do, but if it's in the hundreds, you know, five to seven hundred quid, something like that. Even with rough paint, it might be worth a go. Because there was someone out there who just wants a diesel car. And I said, I think that makes a good taxi, you know, for someone. Hmm, we'll see. Not raving about it, but there's money in that somewhere. It's that sort of level. Five, seven hundred quid, maybe. Anyone for a bit of flash? 68 SLK 280 seven former keepers so it's not been a problem car got a clean report you know, in fairness to it 92,000 miles I was never a fan of the SLK until he uplift until he facelifted it and that got SL front end on it it just yeah it just made it a proper car I mean, it, it, until you get to the back and it's all squashed in and you just and you realise how small they are but I mean it's no CLK or SL, let's not let's be sensible. But there's a lot worse at two door roasters you could buy than them. It's a nice old thing, isn't it? It's 1900 quid that's booking at. What a lot of car for 1900 quid. <laughs> we see what that does, I'd be interested to see what that does. Peugeot Bipper. One four diesel, 70 brake, one former keeper. No VAT. Well, we love it when they say no VAT. 
got a good report on it. That is only booking. <laughs> Average 670 quid, clean 850. I mean, on an 09 plate, what a better kit that would be for that money. You just know it ain't gonna do that. Because if this is anything under a grand, I'll buy it without any shadow of a doubt. But it will just do more than that, I could just see it. One four diesels, the one you want. This is the Fiat Florino van as well, and the Citroen Nemo, same thing. The Dimini 1.4 diesels, HDIs, and then the 1.3 multi-jet Fiat engine. Um, buy the 1.4 HDI, guys. Don't buy the 1.3. What a cheap old thing. Be interesting, that one. Now, here's the one I'm after. Seen this online last night. 1.51, little Citroen C1. I've just finished one of these. It's going to be on the channel shortly. I could do with another because they know it will sell straight away. This must be 91,000 miles. It's one litre splash, but unfortunately, well, it's not unfortunate actually because you might make it cheap. It's category N. Old Cat D basically. Probably on this bumper corner here. You can see there just about. Someone put a wing on it and painted it. So that one's repaired anyway and boom properly because that still damaged that wing. So a little bit of prep there to do, but you know, mechanically, it'd be absolutely perfect. Wants a bit of paint here as well, sorting out and that retaining back, back in. It could be a cheap car van. It's only booking it around a grand. And that's based on it being clean, as in HPI clear, which it isn't. So that could be in the hundreds. Interesting, that one. That's a nice thing, Lake Punto. Facelift Evo shape model. Once it tight though, blind me. Lights on his, on his death. Nice colour though. I, like, I do like a nice strong blue. The 100 foul, dead. And he's not booking it silly money. Six to nine. I think he might do a bit more than six to nine. I think he could probably do around a grand. But anything around that grand mark. I'll be into that because that is a bright thing. Looks to me 23.95 all day, if not more, maybe 24. I think the colour will sell that. Someone. They don't drive well, particularly Puntos are a bit um, mediocre at best, but they sell. People want them. They're reliable. Engines are decent. Certainly more reliable than a Corsa, in my experience. Others would differ. Right, we've had a quick look round. Um, today's plan of attack, well, to be honest with you, I'm not trying to buy too much today. I, can, I say that every time I come here. Um, but in reality, I really have to be careful because I've got very little space. I've still got stuff to pick up. I'm being a bit choosy today, and I'm going to be very choosy. I just really hope, on the flip side, that it doesn't end up being an auction where stuff's really cheap. That sounds ridiculous, but when things go through the auction, it's a really cheap day, there's no interest, or it's just one of those days, uh, and your bargains appear, it's very difficult not to put your hand up and start buying them. Hopefully, it's just a sensible, average day. We pay sensible money for a sensible car, make a sensible profit. That'd be nice. Uh, because I just do with some one or two little bits. Ideally... Um, I still need something medium sector like a, a Focus. I want that Focus Silver ZTEC S. That's what I'm after today, guys. Um, I hope it doesn't go for its sort of book price. It's, sort of, it's around two grand, but it's damaged quite badly. Um, but it won't actually cost a lot to fix. It just looks worse than it actually is. Uh, I think I can fix that for a few hundred quid, to be honest with you, and get a proper, make it look a proper car again. So I'll be interested to see if we can quite and buy that. If that's anywhere near that sort of 14, 1500 quid mark, I'll be a man to buy that because I think that's easily a free grand car, maybe even a 3200 pound car all day long. 1.6 petrol, don't usually give them any problems, them focuses, to be honest with you. Um, it's an easy thing to put right. So that's definitely on our radar. Also, one of one I'm interested in, two of bits really, that was really could take me fancy. That little Peugeot Bipper, I like that. Um, 1.4 diesel, not booking at strong money. I can't see that going between four and 800 quid uh, on an 09, but you never know. You know, it's booking quite low, but. I'd be nice to get that sort of money. Realistically, I think it'll probably do around a grand. I think it's worth that. Be interesting to see when it goes through. Make sure it's not smoking or anything like that because it's a diesel and it's it can be a bit noisy on the injectors. Those um, HDIs, but uh, easy things to put right. They don't usually give many too many problems. They're a nice thing to drive as well. A little bippers and Nemo's. The little white C1, the template one, the, the Cat D car. I like the look of that. Still, had, it's obviously had damage on that wing on the passenger side. Um, I'd be interested in that. I can rectify that. I mean, I've got the catalogue here, it's only booking it a 
grand, 1100 quid sort of territory. Um, it's an ex-finance car as well. Mechanically, I'm not bothered about that. The, the worst thing that could go wrong on that car is it's, what, one's a clutch. I mean, it's, that's not the end of the world in one of them, they're a doddle. But that valuation of a grand 1100 quid marks for a car that's HBI clear, with it being on the register, it's gonna have an effect on the price. I think that'll be in the hundreds um, rather than over the thousand pound mark. If it's anywhere and you would wanna see that roughly around seven, 800 quid mark, that's probably where it should be for a car that's categorized like that. You never know, guys. Sometimes a cat car can surprise you and it can do more than you think. Uh, opposite way around, it can even do less. But that sort of territory, I'd be in for that because I don't think that's difficult to repair. You know, 100, a couple of hundred quid would put that paint right. Uh, and you'd have a decent car of it. And to be honest with you, for those little Igos, people aren't really that fussy with them. They just like the fact that cheap cars, cheap to the run, cheap motoring. Um, and be on the register, it's not going to really dent it too much. To be fair, I think it will still sell uh, as long as we make sure it's safe and put it for the workshop and make it a proper thing. Now, there's a few other bits and bobs we've looked at. We'll just play it by ear with the rest of the other stuff. Um, I don't want to go, I'm not really setting myself out to buy a number, number of cars today. One or two of those I've just mentioned there will just do me. We'll have a look at some other stuff as they go through. There's that SLK, I'll be interested to see what that does. I lost a lot of car for little money. The Range Rover Sport, uh, just to show a few other bits and bobs, guys, that are at the auction. Maybe not the sort of stuff that I usually buy. I mean, it's not. I'm not against buying them or anything like that. If they were right money, I would buy them. But I'm not a man who's going to go buy a load of Range Rovers and stuff like that. I'll buy the odd one now and then, and even then, I'm a bit cautious with them. Um, I think we bought one and sold one on the channel before, actually. Albeit it's a relative who stung me, like. But never mind. It'd be interesting to see what they do. Them Range Rovers have come down a hell of a lot. I bought the wife one a few years ago, an older one, like a template, that very similar to once in the auction today, actually. Um, I, I gave like seven grand for that in 2021. It's probably not even worth five now, to be honest. So they have come down a, a hell of a lot. Um, a lot of car for the money, but you'd have to just be careful when buying a Range Rover Sport. Um, they they will empty your pockets. You've got to buy one that's, you know, even if you buy one that's perfect and out the door and it's all right, you know, you, you, you have to live with the fact that it's going to cost you an arm and leg to run the 600 quid to tax. They will develop a fault. Lots of things go wrong with them. Rock covers, manifolds go wrong, and they go into limp mode. You get auto box fault problems. The engines can just blow up for no reason at all, mainly because they've got poor engine design. Uh, there's all sorts of faults that arrive on a Range Rover, as people, many people will know. But we always seem to, everyone seems to like them. You <laughs> know, they always sell. Anything else will play by ear as it comes through. We might might end up putting a hand up on a few. You never know. Uh, I shouldn't really, but we'll, it will never will happen. The, uh, the 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 rush will get me. I'm sure. So, right, so anyway, we've got the catalogue. Most importantly, I've got my breakfast voucher, so I'm gonna get in the, the cafe now, see Troy and the, and the team in there and get myself a breakfast sandwich uh, and uh, get ourselves in position. I'll try and get myself in the best position I can, guys. If it's really busy, it's difficult, but I'll try and get myself in the best position possible so you can see what's going on uh, and see if we can try and win some cars. So let's get ourselves in there. That's the most blue. That's on there for you. Thank you. 
Oh, they want it. They want it. Yeah. Ridiculous. We're not having much luck today, guys, honestly. Um, everything we're trying to bid on, we're getting nowhere near. Prices seem a little bit dear. I haven't really seen really any cheapies yet. Maybe that Range Rover was a good value, but it's a big Range Rover, so be, you'll spend another grand probably getting it right. But um, other than that, there wasn't anything any of our value so far. Everything's been a bit dear to me, and uh, we're struggling to get bids in. But we'll keep pressing on. We've got the Golf and the uh, little Skoda coming in next. If I'm honest with you, Skoda I'm not really that interested in unless it's chicken feed, because it's battered. Um, and the Volkswagen Golf, 200,000 miles templates for 200,000 miles it's in good nick actually but I'm going to stick to my guns on it grand that's it I'm not giving you more than that for it it should do around that but I just don't know today anything can surprise you but anyway we'll carry on hopefully we can win something and I'm not had a wasted trip stuff and things were dear and by the way to be fair a lot of stuff is quite dear today but there was one or two bits there I thought you never know and there we go we got two straight away I got one was the Focus and we also won the Mondeo apologies about the Mondeo I only caught the last few seconds of the bidding where the hammer went down the camera had a bit of a malfunction I really do need to update this camera um, but we won that 450 quid that'd be cheap out the door that, that should be about 525 530 out the door uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute because it uh, has got a horrible paint job on it but I've got a plan for that maybe I think there is a buyer for that somewhere 
uh, and the other one was the Focus. Please, that ZTEC S Focus, nice thing, bit proper, proper car, and we'll make that a car again. That tailgate doesn't worry me for the damage on it. We can fix that. I've got a plan for that. Lloyd done my research on it and get that other little bits of paint done on it. And easily, I think that's a three thousand two hundred pound car, maybe, maybe even a touch more. Anyway, let's get ourselves back in there. Next car, it's our sixty-seven. It's on the eleven. It's on the mile model. It's three on there. Nice blue on the three door there. Things one goes to the. Where we go? Stop by that one. We'll go four hundred down this road. Four was there first. Five, six, seven. We're the triangle. Eight, nine, nine to fifty. Keeps up a thousand. Fifty. Thousand fifty bit. Eleven. Fifty. Eleven fifty. Twelve. Here. Twelve bit. That's one hundred down the bit. Twelve bit fifty here. Twelve bit here. Thirteen. Fifty. Thirty fifty. Thousand in the room, thousand now. Everyone, 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 fifty online. No one has to pay. 
Right, guys, another auction finished. Uh, quick summing up of what's happened today. Uh, on the price side of it, things were a bit all over the place, really. Some stuff was doing reasonably good, okay money, what you expect to pay trade. And I thought I got a couple of okay cars uh, and a few other bits as well that I missed out on. And then on the upper flip side of it, some stuff that was just doing ridiculous money that I never saw in a million years would happen. Uh, little Yellow Punto example. I thought that was expensive. £700 for a Yellow Punto Sporting. Uh, my worries of that is it's had engine light on, the alarm was going off, they're never great for MOTs, M, they used to rot like hell. I, I don't see it as a classic car yet, maybe in the future, but I, I don't know, I just thought that was a little bit OTT. I saw it maybe three or £400, £400, maybe five on a good day, if you were pushed and maybe that was the sort of thing you're after. Uh, but uh, yeah, 500 quid was more reasonable, I thought, maybe 700, nearly a grand out the door, I thought that was a bit rich. Little Merc as well, the SLK, nice thing, but I think really strong money. The Fiesta, uh, that little 09 Fiesta. Quite the body weight wasn't great on that. Mileage was okay, but it wasn't a great car. Been jump started, bonnet was up on it. It wasn't the best of things. I thought it'd struggle to do 14, 1500 quid. Did about 18 and a bit, so it's like over two grand, 2100 pounds out the door. That would be for a car that's probably worth what 2800. Um, I thought that was quite expensive. They'll sell well, they'll sell straight away. Everyone wants Fiestas, but I just thought he's not leaving much yourself in there. And also, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a grade A car, let's put it that way. And on the flip side of it, that Picasso. I bid on that, and then I got taken out on it, and then just sort of froze. I don't know what happened to me. I just decided not to bid. Uh, usually a mate of mine, he usually buys all the Picassos. He didn't even bid either. So he, maybe I, he sort of panicked me a little bit because I thought, well, why are you not bidding on it? Because you always buy these, no matter how bad they are. And he didn't buy, bid on it, and it was a bit of a bit of a weird standoff really and in the end someone else someone else bought it i should have bought that car i don't know what come over me really i should have really just put my hand up and carried on bidding um i had a bit of damage on that quarter on the driver's side rear but i was accountable for i could i counted that in to have that painted but what did it do 350 quid i think it did my god that's a cheap car it was a uh, 70 odd thousand miles 1.6 petrol clean thing sills had never been welded either because usually they're all patched up and look horrible it would have made a car that and that sort of thing i was sort of after sort of five store family stuff so i should have bought that that's the one i've missed out on today other things that were interesting range rover sport my god have the back fallen out of those range rover sports 12 plate range rover sport 125 up it tdv6 if actually it wasn't tdv6 it was an sdv6 there's a later engine in it um which they do about 31 to the gallon. Claim They claim they do 31 to the gallon. A, a nice thing. HSE. Lovely car. And it did £4,450. Wow. I thought that was mega cheap. And it's not the first one I've seen re recently as well doing that sort of money. I saw another one the other week as well. And that, that didn't do much more. So it, they, they really have come took a nosedive, those old Range Rovers. A lot of value there. So uh, I bought... And God knows what the wife's worth. I bought hers a couple of years ago. And I gave them nearly twice that so he's probably uh, took a bit of a nose dive on that so yeah the range rovers are probably coming into sort of handy money now guys although they are money pits so just be warned but uh, yeah it'd be interesting to see what happens to them you've seen a lot of the dearer stuff is now starting to come down quite a lot there's a lot of the uh, really big big tackle stuff is just the struggle you know you're struggling to get stuff away but uh, the two cars we won so we won the um focus silver focus the ztec s really really happy with that ztec s i know it's got the dint on the back um i've already priced a tailgate up for it so I'm, i've got that organized not expensive shove a tailgate on it moon dust silver dead easy color to get hold of uh, and then just get that end, end bit painted as well so i can get that sorted it looks a really nice thing i've pulled out the auction already so we got that to out it drove so it seemed to be okay obviously we've got a proper drive when we get it ready back and we'll do a walk round on it proper car that with a kit one six petrol exactly what i'm after that will sell well it's got three grand for 32.95 written all over it uh, and it will sell pretty much i think that'll sell pretty easily the other one we bought was the uh, mondeo now why did i buy that mondeo uh the reason being is because at that sort of money i think it was 450 so it's gonna be about 500 over, about 525 quid out the door it ain't a lot of money really to to risk worst case scenario i might lose 80 90 pound on it now the bodywork is uh poor say the least someone has basically paid half the car of an aerosol cam uh I know they've got the right colour shade, but obviously it's been paying with a flick can. It looks ridiculous. But I think there's money in that. And I've got the car out already, and I don't want to spoil the walk round on it, but from where I've driven it from out the auction and parked it up, it started lovely. It drove reasonably nice. It drove really nice. I don't. I think that's going to be one of those cars where it drives absolutely amazing. 
but the bodywork lets it down. It probably was an amazing car before it had an accident and someone's has men just bought it back probably off the insurers or bought it out of a salvage place or whatever, done a horrible hash jab of the paint and then just used it. And if it drives as well as I think it's gonna drive, there is money in it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. I might I might be able to get someone into it. I think it might make a good taxi. That's basically what I'm getting at. A lot of the taxi areas, the districts, depends where you are in the, in the country. Most of them you have to sort of go halfway up the door with white and a different colour, like black or white, whatever, because they have different colour schemes. They have, you know, bylaws and stuff for each different taxi district. Um, I think that'll make it a half decent taxi, or for someone just wants to run around. Because what can you buy at the moment? Where are you going to buy a cheap diesel car to get you back into work from? for what less than seven or eight hundred quid you can't so i think there's money in that it is on the register obviously because it's been damaged and someone's been painted it and made a bodge of it um which is a shame because it was on the register i'd actually get that car painted i don't care if it's a full side i'd have had it painted because it's probably a two and a half grand car because it's only done a hundred thousand miles dead but with it being on the register it's a bit pointless because time you've painted it you could spend five hundred five or six hundred pounds having it painted time you worked all that out i don't know it, it, it's only probably worth 1500 pounds in half decent nick as a category n car anyway so it's not really much point in painting it you just basically will pay money out to paint it and get the same margin out of it probably than you would do just trying to sell it as it is because i think there's money in that just selling it as it is there's someone out there for this car if it drives all right which i'm pretty sure it will do it'll be interesting to see we'll get that back we'll definitely do a video on that one so that's pretty much it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so please check out my other videos we're going to be trying out some new auctions very very soon so check out my latest auction videos as they land thanks guys for watching and i'll see you all very very soon